All right, it's Antline Alpha. Welcome to Let's Play Banjo Tooie Part 2090. Still not gonna get those that jiggy or those. Do you even know? Do you really know? I don't know. We'll see. But we're gonna we're gonna go to, we're gonna go down the hill, down the mountain. I was just listening to the song of the Lonely Mountain, which is the the song that plays at the end of part one of the Hobbit and during the credits. So that may be stuck in my head for a while. It's a good good credit song. So we're just gonna I can probably dive into here because I do believe we'll find peace or you know progress and I can grab on to that I don't need the ramp that was like on the other side yes right over not there right over yes here oh we got a cave hopefully there's no bats or sasquatches oh you don't believe in squatch I seem okay, thank you. What a nice guy. He's not gonna use his tomahawk on me, no he's not. You know, I was... Wa trying to watch... one of my friend's videos earlier... Uh, on YouTube. He's playing... the first Banjo-Kazooie game. And... it... it... It, it froze about a minute in. And there's my... Oh, only four honeycombs this time? Interesting. Now, I've never seen it do only four. Only two and six. Uh, let's see, is this where I want to go? Yep. Oh, wait, no, but I want to be single player. No duo for me to get that move. Yeah, I was watching one of his Banjo-Kazooie episodes, and out of... It, well, shouldn't say out of nowhere, because it happens all the time, but... Yeah, it froze. It didn't do the thing that it's been doing recently, where it, like, will skip to the end at a random time in the middle. But, like, it actually... Like, stopped. It froze. Like, I couldn't see the loading bar anymore, so I tried refreshing. And I got nothing. Where where was I headed with this? I don't die. Actually, it wouldn't really matter because I am invincible. But I have a respawn right close to this. I can't believe that you're a bird. You can't hatch eggs. It's so absurd. So hold down Z and then press B. Then a real bird will finally see. Nice one. Thank you for filling me up. Exactly twice as much as I had. And... I, I wanna get ya. I wanna roast ya. I, I wanna roast ya. Can I do that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, no problem. So, yeah, YouTube's... The question remains, will YouTube ever solve its video loading problems? Or, because there's nothing wrong with my internet right now. So, will there always arise a new problem? You know, I shouldn't be complaining about YouTube right now, because I sh what I should... Well, I don't have to complain about anything, but I want to complain about Facebook, because... Oh, they finally have to start using actual hashtags now, because that needed to happen. Because that's going to be so useful, it's, People type in very specific hashtags like going to the beach with the boys with like three Z's and like who else is gonna type that hashtag? Is the purpose of that? I don't even know if like the majority of people who use them actually know what they're used for. And I forgot about the egg in the cave. I need to go back and get that because that's what I'm supposed to do is hatch the eggs now. And so, yeah, hashtags are like, I'm 
from I I've only like recently started using Twitter, but from what I've gathered, they're used to like connect and fig like you click on them and you find out who else is using the same hashtag. Now what what the actual point of this is, I'm not quite sure why you want to know who else is talking about this unless you just want to make friends that way, but I mean seriously, I don't ever ha have anything to follow that. I just mean, I mean like seriously, come on. Like people, I all of course I have to have those friends who are like, "Oh, Facebook's using hashtags. Time to post about food and include nine hashtags on that one status is that all that all that's that's essential isn't it in it cute but it's wrong I hope people will know what I'm referencing when I said that yeah so I don't know I was thinking of like putting a hashtag at the end of all my statuses from now on just just like one and it'll be like Zuckerberg sucks like for all I know it wasn't his decision he's like I don't know about this and he has probably has like accountants people managing his uh, the websites like traffic and be like you know this will be a wise financial decision somehow and be like oh I don't know about this but okay it's Mark how Mark Zuckerberg will talk and that will be the joyousness. Alright, now I can go down here. There's another egg just around here. I will be getting it. You'll see me do it. So yeah, that was just me rambling about Facebook and how it's angering me. And I am not going to warm them up right now. Ha <laughs> ha, hello. You should see someone about that stimmer. N not the stammer. F f for freezing. C cold. C cave. No central. H heating. No no no. Food e either. A uh, unga. B bunga. Tribe. Got g guard. Uh, p please. W warm cave up and g give. F f food. You you got got. <laughs> t t today, Junior. All right. I'm not gonna warm him up right now because. I will wait till he actually has food. The egg. Okay, the egg's over there. Uh, I, I guess in, in real life, it, I would, wouldn't be so cruel and leave people freezing when just because I don't have everything they need at the moment. But I see no point in wasting time. And speaking of wasting time, I just fell off of platform that I just got on. It's not really a platform, it's like a... an alcove. So there's it going. Yep, it's exactly the same as the last one. That'd suck if... human babies... Well, I know, like, a lot of babies look the same, but if, like, they grew up to look exactly the same... I mean, who can, like, tell, like, I don't know, some animals. I guess some people can tell cats apart. There's no reason why I needed to switch to Banjo to get Kazooie, but I did for some reason. So, let us go through the lawn and see what historical creatures we have remaining to see. Probably not that many, because... This is like the last thing we need to do in this level before we move on to the next because there's like two jiggies that require future moves. Future! Wait, oh, okay, the springy step shoes are over there. And the way the jump spring switch switchy characters pads are over here. And I need to fall to them, I guess? Okay. I will fall! Let's go ahead and do that type of thing. Here it is. Whoop, 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 woo. Whoop, weep, woo. 
So now we can get the last of the gingers, if we may. And I may or may, yes. What is what is this? Come on. Let's go over here. Gotta do weird traversing through the land to get to places. Well, that's alright. I'm fine with that. That is like puzzle solving. That is a large high jump. Take off! You know, last segment, I... Like, thinking back on it, I kind of realized that, uh... Talking... Wait, can I get the Jinjo without... Without touching the ground? Where am I? Where am I? Uh, no. I kind of realized that... Uh, talking about... E3 was kind of pointless, because, like, in a year, like, all of the commentary in that segment is going to be pretty much irrelevant, because people are going to have made their decision, their own decisions on what they think of the game, and my speculation isn't going to be good for re what how okay. I missed because I missed. That's all there is to it. So yeah, but... I I wasn't actually ever planning on talking about E3 uh, in this Let's Play, but I decided to because I had recorded uh, a podcast with a bunch of my friends, and we, were, we talked about all of E3 and not just the Nintendo part, and that went on for like two and a half hours, but uh, only one person's audio got picked up, so uh, I never, we never got the, the, the file with all the audio, so that's too bad, but anyway, I can talk about other topical things like the Facebook shenanigans, because that stuff is, like, prone to change constantly, and this commentary will be kind of like, act as like a timeline for what happened, and people can look on this video when it does change, which it definitely will, who knows if for better or for worse, but it, it will change, and people will be like, oh yeah, I remember that, so, but you don't really need to remember a time before a game is released, because why? What? But they're why? I don't know. But let's just take a warp and go to the top, where everything is. You know, the cherries are on top, and people like cherries. You know, I want to see. It might sound disgusting to some people, but I'm actually genuinely interested in seeing, like, a camera filming the inside of someone's mouth when they're tying, like, a, a cherry stem in a knot, because I'm... I don't understand how people do that. And it's... it is quite the talent. But, oh well. Can't know all the answers. I guess that's a magician's secret. So, one last egg. I know exactly where it is. And I'm coming there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's get the egg. Let's, we turn the opposite direction we went in the first place, and another nest hole. Gotta love them nest holes. And a caged off area. Uh oh. There's a Yana coming. Kind of, kind of overpower that yawn. Feel it feels, you feel like a man when you hold like your lips shut while yawning. Just like yeah, yeah, you, oh yeah, try and fight me, yawn. You ain't doing nothing. I guess I have to go all the way down here and fly up from the top. I can do that. But yeah, your eyes, my eyes start watering sometimes if I hold a yawn in and be like, TAKE IT! TAKE IT ALL! 
I'm stronger than you, Yawn. I don't even know what you are, Yawn, really. Is it like a release of energy to help keep you alert when your mind is like instinctively trying to stay awake? I don't know. I don't know why you'd want to release energy if you're trying to stay awake. Or is it somehow gaining energy? Yikes, she's a big girl, isn't she? Too right, she can't even fly. Hmm, I'm not sure if there will be room in our nest. You couldn't just hit it with a, one of those uh, grenade eggs, could you? Oh, man. Someone called Child Protective Services. And PETA. Child people for the ethical treatment of, of animals protective services. So, that's why we got the split up pads. That's why there was a vine on that other uh, cave with the egg on it in the Ungabungus cave because. Uh, no matter which egg you get last, the last one will always have the big girl. And so, they always make it accessible to Banjo. So, we can take him right back up to Terry, if we wish to do so. Which, I, I do wish! That's my wish! I wish for that. Anyone ever see the movie, any of the Wishmaster movies? I just remember one wish is like really disturbing. This guy wished that he could walk through out of the bars. He, he wished that he could walk through the bars when he was in jail with the wishmaster and he's like, "Is that your wish?" And then like he he makes him like fly towards the bars and he like squeezes his entire body through like one of the gaps and like bends and bones break and blood flies all over the place. I remember I was like, I like this. Even as a young kid, when I first saw that, I was like, I, I like it. So, let's do this. Let's save it all for once. Alright. There's one. And here we go. Oh, I interrupted one of the fanfares. So, that's about all I need to do for this segment. Next segment, we'll have another cleanup type of deal. I'll go back into previous levels, pick up some scraps. So, you have that to uh, see in your near future. So, places everyone, and closing. Thanks for watching. Bing, bang, goodbye.